Welcome to weekly vlog number nine. I feel like I look like I haven't slept today. I'm really tired and I, I, I just feel like I know today is going to be a really slow day. So I just can't bother to start it. <laughs> That's how I feel today. I'm going to try and make it go quickly but there's only two of us in and days when there's just two people kind of just drag because nothing happens. Like it's got nothing to do with who you're with or anything. Like they just go slowly. And today is one of those days so I'm just going to have to see how it goes aren't I? I'm really sorry if you can hear my chewing gum. I'm chewing chewing gum. And it's a pretty miserable day actually today. It looks like it's going to rain again. It's really windy. It's chilly. Like summer is uh, on its way out now and and as much as I'm happy about that, because autumn is my favourite season, I don't like the change. <laughs> like, seeing the summer go makes me not like autumn, but then when autumn is here, I love it. Autumn is my season. I like the clothes, I like the colours, I like the weather, mainly when I don't have to go out in it, but still I like the weather and I love Halloween. So I better let the day begin so that we can try and end it as soon as possible. <laughs> Feeling positive today, people. Good evening, you lovely bunch. Although this is not the evening you are expecting. This is not Sunday evening, this is Monday evening. Yesterday was a complete and utter disaster at work and I finished and I just couldn't, I just was not in the mood to do anything. Yeah, I'm not going to go into details, but just know it was the perfect definition of disaster or hashtag fail. <laughs> On a happier note, today at work was much more successful and it was a good day and it went really quickly. So I guess that's good. But in, in another sense, that's made me more tired because we were really busy. So then I was tired from being stressed out yesterday and now I'm tired from being so busy today and it's just... I'm very, very tired if you didn't get that message. <laughs> so I'm gonna go now, go home and just get into my comfies, I think. And then just chill. Just chill. Look at this sky, by the way. That is a true English sky. I, mean, I bet when people in other countries think of England, they think of that sky. Gray, dull, could rain, could not rain, could snow, you just don't know. It's not gonna snow, it's not that cold. Perfect definition of England, I think, that sky is right now. How to end the most stressful days at work. Comfy clothes, mm -hmm. check. Tea, check. In a new mug, check. Cake, check. YouTube, check. I am relaxed. Take it. Good girl, <laughs> you're so bad. It's here. It's here. So if you've watched my vlogs for a while, you'll know that if I'm stressed or anxious, I like to tidy things 
and organise things. So instead of having my planned quiet relaxing evening, having a bath and catching up on YouTube, I've spent my evening tidying my room. But now, desk is all clean and tidy and lovely. That is all tied up because because that was like an absolute tip. All of those were everywhere. Well, it's now kind of sorted, ready for me to get into. That is all tidy. That was again a complete and utter mess. I've reorganised my little shelf up there because I had new um, C frame to put up. Love it. That was a gift from Daniel's sister, and it's just me, really. I just love it. That has been my evening, and it's now quarter to tomorrow. I am now going to have my quiet evening and go to bed. We'll try to because Chris is still recording. I don't know if you can hear. Let's get to the closest to the wall. Oh look, me. <gasps> Listen. Have, well this is weird lighting I have no idea how good the microphone is on this, this camera so I don't know if you will have heard that this is really this is like scary story light this is terrifying um yeah I don't know if you just picked that up but I listen to daily guys you're coming over here from Chesnoid Gaming that's what I listen to daily for your entertainment I'm going to bed now good night good morning I have woken up with the worst headache I've had in a very long time like my whole head really really hurt um, and it's why I still look like this because it's actually like nearly half 11 but I've just been in bed like trying to make it a bit better I mean I haven't taken any painkillers yet but I've still got my curtain shucks the lights are really hurting my eyes but because it's half 11 and I'm really hungry I decided to make myself brunch so I've got um egg and soldiers mm -mm. this is gluten f and wheat free bread with sunflower spread on there. And then I'm actually really proud of my egg, I'm not gonna lie. I find it really hard to get a dippy egg and I've got a dippy egg. Hopefully this one's dippy too. Then I've got Innocent Super Smoothie to drink and it's got kiwi, lime, matcha, wheatgrass and flax seeds in it. Sounds like it's gonna make me go to the toilet a lot. Plus vitamins B2, B3, B6, C and E. I haven't tried it yet, it's a new recipe. I've just got it in my little, little cup. Mm, that's really good. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat that and I've also got Harry Potter ready to go. Tonight, me and mum are meant to be going to see the Hairy Bikers. They are in Ely. I think they're advertising one of their new books and things. I quite enjoy watching them, so we're gonna go along and see them and maybe pick up one of their cookbooks because I wanna try my hand at cooking a bit more because I don't really cook a lot. I'd quite like to start cooking a bit more. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm really hoping that my headache will go before then so that I can go <laughs> um, and enjoy it because it's gonna be quite loud, I think. Well. It's not like it's going to be like a cooking rave, but you know what I mean. Hello, lovies. It is a little bit later now. I have had a nap and had a shower, hence the wet hair. Um, I had a little friend all the way through my nap. That little one there. She was just all like tucked up inside the duvet. It was adorable. I got some pictures. There's a hair on my lens. Get off. Um, I took some pictures, so they may be one on Instagram. Maybe pop over and follow me on Instagram. Little plug there. Still have a headache. Like, it's all across here. Like, it's all on top of my head. Great. And it's been made worse because I'm also now on a period. Is that too much information for a vlog? Oh, well. It's real life. So, now I have pain in my head and in my stomach. But it's now... What's the time? What is the time? Three o'clock. And I've only had my egg and soldiers. So, I'm going to make a salad. I saw on Instagram earlier a picture of someone who had literally made, like, a really basic tuna salad and I've decided that that's really what I fancy so I'm gonna hopefully make one of those hopefully I've got some salad and tuna and stuff in the cupboard to make it and then I'm gonna eat that <laughs> I am feeling a little bit better the whole coming on my period thing kind of explains why I've been so tired today as well because I, I thought it was just a headache but obviously not tuna salad time I think seen stuff been watching Harry Potter all day I thought I only app that I wear Harry Potter sockies saggy saggy I'm feeling a bit better now. My headache's still there, but it's not as bad. And you kind of, oh, brightness. You have to deal with the uh, period pains because you get them every month. So I'm going out tonight. I'm going to go see the Harry Pikers. Oh, if you don't know who they are, by the way, they are um, a duo of like TV chefs and they're hairy men <laughs> that ride bikes. 
like motorbikes. They're kind of, yeah, self-explanatory, but they're chefs and they do like rustic cooking. I'm probably gonna be the youngest one there, but I'll deal with that. And I've just gone with my trusty stripy top and my socks that match now. Also, I've been, I used that um, new shampoo and conditioner today and it's volumizing one. And this is my natural hair and I've got it half up, half down because it's just what I do. But I'm really impressed, like it's not frizzing or anything and it feels thicker and it looks thicker. Now I don't know if it's because I haven't used heat on it for a really long time and obviously I've been doing my like curls so there's some bits that have got like one of like natural curls now because it's been curled so much so I don't know if it's that but I'm gonna keep using it and I'll keep trying and we'll see if it continues or if it's a one-off because I didn't wash my hair for four days. Nice. <laughs> I'm back um it was really good they're quite little funny men <laughs> um, and we picked up two of their books we picked up their Christmas one and the one they were actually advertising which is their this is what their new TV program is on which is all about chicken and eggs and I think I'm going to challenge myself to cook some of these things because I just I don't cook enough and I'm not very like creative with my cooking so I'm going to try and challenge myself to cook some of these and then we went to Tesco's afterwards and I picked up some pretty sunflowers that was just my mouth pretty pretty I think sunflowers are one of my favourite flowers. Sunflowers and peonies, I think, are my two favourite flowers. They just make you happy. Like, you just see some sunflowers like that and it just cheers you up. It does me anyway. They make me happy. They're my happy flower. Yeah, I'm now really tired. I think it's even past 10. Yeah, it's 10pm now. My headache's gone. I can still kind of feel a bit of a niggle, but it's not anything like it was. So, I think I am just going to get in my pyjamas and get into bed and get an early-ish night tonight. It seems as... I didn't get my relaxed early night last night. I'm going to attempt to do it this tonight. Um, I do kind of want to change my bed though. I want fresh sheets. Is 10pm too late to change your bed? Yeah, I think I'll do it tomorrow when I get home from work. Good night. Hello lovely ones. Today has been a long day. I sounded like Harry Potter then. Farewell, Aragog. <laughs> I have had the worst headache ever like I, was, I had it yesterday and it's continued through to today and i just feel horrible like i'm really hot but i'm also really cold my head's throbbing my eyes really hurt i just don't feel very well at all and i'm gonna go in because i am at home now <laughs> i'm gonna eat some dinner i'm gonna have a bath and i may just go to bed i might not even watch bake off so that's how poorly i feel right now i may watch bake off but I may not. I am so hungry as well though. I don't know what I've got for dinner tonight, so we'll find it when I get in. But I'm gonna go in, take some painkillers, get into some comfy clothes and just try and feel better, I guess. beautiful my sunflowers look now they've all opened up a little bit yay they're making me feel a little bit better also chris has given me one of his painkillers and they are very very strong <laughs>
morning. I'm leaving for work a little... I'm covered in hair. Um, I'm leaving for work a little bit earlier today because I was late yesterday because of the traffic. Definitely know that the schools are back because it takes me about 15 minutes, 20 minutes longer to get to work. Just clean my windscreen. <laughs> It's so annoying. Who, like, why does school traffic cause so much trouble? Can people not drive when they take their kids to school? I don't know. Either way, I now have to leave earlier. And I don't, I don't like that fact. <laughs> Still got slight headache, but it's so much better than it was yesterday. Um, Chris's painkiller, like, completely knocked me out and got rid of it. And I slept really, really well last night. So I think that's kind of helping um but i've got a full day at work which is probably going to go ridiculously slow um because again there's just two of us and then um me and daniel are going on date night tonight um i think we're just going to prezzo so nothing too fancy but um i fancied getting dressed up so i was like can we go on date night tomorrow this was yesterday so we're doing that tonight so that's exciting a little bit of cambridge advice whenever or if ever you come here go to savino's and get a hot chocolate and a pastry because they are to die for. The hot chocolate's literally pure melted like dark chocolate with frothy milk in it. It's insane. There you go. Cambridge advice for you. Hello my little cherubs. This is the worst lighting ever in the whole entire world. Um, but me and Daniel have just been out on date night. We went to Prezzo's. I had a really nice salmon pasta thing. Although there was chilies in it. I forgot to ask for no chilies. So my mouth is a little bit hot and I couldn't finish it. Look, he's just Where is it? You can see his arm. There is. Mm -hmm. um, we're just heading back. And I think we are... There's still Snickers ice creams in the freezer. So I'm going to have one of those for dessert. Because we didn't have dessert. We had starters instead. So I'm going to have one of those for dessert. And then I think we're going to watch Death in Paradise. Because I finished watching it. But he hasn't. So we're going to watch a bit more of that. And I really, really enjoy it. So I really don't mind like watching it over again. It's really good. If you haven't watched Death in Paradise, I highly recommend it. I think the first four seasons are on Netflix, so definitely work, worth a watch if you like... This sentence is really weird, but if you like light-hearted murder mystery kind of things, definitely worth a watch. So we're going to go back and watch that. Hello. <laughs> Good morning, happy Friday. Today is my day off and I've just stuck a superhero plaster on a blister on my foot because the shoes that I wore last night gave me blisters, which I was really surprised about because they're actually the heels that I used to wear to work every single day. Like seriously, look at these. Look at those. Can you believe I used to wear those every single day? to work for nine hours i cannot so they're normally like really comfy and like the leather is really worn in and everything but they gave me blisters yesterday and um, so yeah i have a plaster that says pow <laughs> on my foot sorry if you don't like toes i have gross feet i'm just waiting for daniel i think he's peeing and we're gonna go get some breakfast well i say breakfast it's like nearly one o'clock i think we're gonna go get some lunch hello lovely bums i've just had to film my main video on this camera because I've gone to use like my big camera and I don't know if it's gonna work because there's no memory card in it. Um, it's not gonna work because there's no memory card in it. I think there's water damage in the lens because it's really dark and it won't get lighter. Um, and the last time it was used was when Chris used it and I think it rained and he used it outside. So I think there's water damage in the lens. So I've just had to use this camera. I'm really hoping that it comes out okay. Like the lighting is all okay and everything. And the sound. Fingers crossed. Because I may have to use this camera for a while. Until I can get that replaced. I don't know if it's the actual camera that's like broken. Or if it's the lens itself. I mean if it's the lens it's obviously going to be way cheaper. Because I can just replace the Well kind of. I can just replace the lens rather than the whole camera. But I don't have a lens, another lens to try on it. To see if it's fit like the lens or not. So I don't really know what I'm going to do. Also, I have on the Primark Matte Lipstick. Still don't know if I like it or not. I feel like my lips are too dry for it. Look at that. Very good. Thank you. Look. It kind of cracks a bit. I don't know. Focus on me. Thank you. I'm going to get the footage off of this to put onto my laptop and just see how it turns out. And hopefully it's okay. Just imported all of the footage from filming my video. I'm not overly happy with the quality to be honest but it's just because I'm used to my, my 600D. At least we're getting a decent video on Sunday and there's going to be a video so I guess that's a good thing. 
I've now got my lion bar to help me edit. These are probably one of my favourite chocolate bars ever. I love lion bars. Also, I'm shutting myself in my room because my mum helps out with the youth group and they're all coming here today. I think they're going on um, like a grub crawl type thing where you, you go to different houses for different courses, if that makes sense. And they're here for the main. There's 11 of them. <laughs> so I'm shutting myself away and plugging myself in so I don't have to talk to any of them. <laughs> I'm so sociable. Seriously, listen to this. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it. They've gone quiet now. They were definitely just like proper screaming. <laughs> Typical, get the camera up to show you when they go quiet. Video is edited. I feel like I definitely should have worn my glasses though because I now have a pretty bad headache again. Don't help myself though, do I know? It is now uploading ready for tonight for you sunday for me i've been drinking tea in my new cup i failed my nails because it's annoying me i've had my candle lit the whole time too it's the neon one that was in my favorites video absolutely love it still love it i had dory for company <laughs> oh hey and aurora is on the windowsill aurora there she is <laughs> also in my company she was hiding in here while um the youth group were here. They've all gone now, thank goodness. I need to go have a shower. I need to wash my hair. But you know, sometimes just washing your hair is such a chore, you just can't bother to do it. That is how I feel right now, that's how I feel tonight. I'm also really thirsty, I don't think I've drunk enough today. I really just want some ice cold water. I love, I love my sunflower. I love ice cold water. I don't really like tap water, I always have bottled water. But I definitely prefer ice cold water over room temperature. It just tastes better to me. I just think it tastes better. I've just noticed how close I am to 100,000 views on my channel. Look. Ah, so close. So close. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. I need to leave for work because I'm actually running a little bit late. So I'm actually a little bit excited today because I can actually leave the shop, people. There is enough of us to be able to leave the shop. Um, but it is a horrible day. Wet and rainy. I need to go to Primark to return some stuff. I don't really want to go outside though. Look at this. What a horrible... Ooh. Look at this. What a horrible day. I've got my leather jacket on today. Because I've made too many mistakes and got really cold. All right. I need to go. I'll see you later. It's lunchtime, so I have to walk over the other side to return this. And I really can't be bothered because it's horrible outside. It's all rainy and so I don't want to walk that far. It's probably not that far, but I've already asked the girls here if they want it. Because <laughs> I can't be bothered to walk over. I'm like, do you want it? You can have it. But no, I better go. And I'm so hungry. I don't know what I'm going to have. I'm thinking maybe an itsu soup thing. Mm. I don't know. I'll see you when I get back. I am now soaking wet, like my skirt's damp, because it peed it down while I was walking back, but jumper is returned, lunch has been eaten. I had Itsu, their dumpling melt thing. It was good, it's the first time I've had it. Probably won't get it again, just because it's like, I normally get the detox one. I say normally, I've had it once. Last time I got the detox one, and that's like two pounds something, I think. But this time I got the dumpling one, because we got really excited about it, because it has cheese in it but it was like an extra two pounds and you don't get a lot of cheese. So I'd rather have noodles to be honest. So next time I'll probably get the delu deluxe <laughs> detox one again. But yeah, I've got like five minutes left of my lunch. So I've got my Cara size lemonade can. And I'm just gonna watch Snapchat, I think. So I haven't watched Snapchat in a very long time. But yeah, I'm really wet. And I feel like, cause the shop's hot, I feel sticky and horrible. Mm. Good evening, you reached the end of weekly vlog number nine. Well done. My voice is really weird today for some reason. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Just thought I would end and conclude. I think we've established that I need to get my eyes tested because of the headache that I've had all week. And I upped it on the camera. It's not broken. The exposure had been turned right down. Chris doesn't know how. He, he, he doesn't think he did it. But something had happened to it and the exposure had been turned right down. But panic over. Camera is fine. Hopefully. It seems fine. I guess we'll find out when I film on it next. really hope you enjoyed this vlog. It wasn't as chirpy as all of my other ones just because I wasn't feeling great throughout most of it. Most of the week has been... It's been a bit of an odd week. 
I'm not going to lie. So well done, well done if you reached the end. Give the video a thumbs up if you did reach the end so that I know. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss next week's. Remember tonight's video is coming up. It is a uh, little tag video for you. Something nice and simple just to chill and watch on your Sunday evening. So I hope you enjoy that video and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.